Today we are going to do the best-selling plug-in electric car worldwide. How we draw demand and supply for Tesla Model 3. Let's see. We are going to look for the relation between the price and unit produced and the price and the unit sold, which represent that demand and supply relation. So I pick the data for you from Q3 2017 till Q1 2020. Prices for different quarters and then units sold. How can I draw this curve? If you open your Excel sheet in a very simple way and you put the data in a simple way like here, and how can I draw this demand curve? So it is simply, you click on the observation, just the units sold and the prices to see how the demand relation will look like. Go for insert, look for the scatter diagram and the draw the line. Very easy and very simple. So I did here the demand relation, which is the relation between prices and units sold, which is completely, completely different than the trend. What do you mean by the trend? What happened to the observation through time? I select the quarter, which at the time, and then the unit sold, and then I go for the scatter diagram and look for what is happening. What's going on? The unit sold here, it is fluctuating, but what happened to the prices? I didn't took it in consideration. So this is what we call it a trend. It was increasing, increasing, increasing dramatically till this is the observation where we look for. It reached 61K in Q4. And all of a sudden something happened and then make the unit sold drop. And then there is a recovery and then it maintained. What is this? This is the trend and this is the analysis with respect to the time. I don't want this one, but I'm looking for the demand relation. How the demand relation look like? The demand relation, it is a negative relation. So if prices increases, oops, the quantity didn't decrease, but it increased. So this is what we call it violation. So what happened if prices decreases and unit increases? This is not a violation which means that the law of demand is valid. If prices increases once more and units sold increases once more, then there is a violation. So what do you mean by violation? Violation means I'm again the law of demand. And what is the law of demand? The law of demand is very simple. If prices increases, number of units decreases. But as you see here in Tesla, it is breaking the rules. The prices increases, and what happened to the unit sold? It increases. The prices increases in Q4 from 40, from, 30, from Q3 39 to 40, the quantity jumped to reach the peak point, which is 61K. So this is the demand curve or what we call it demand relation. So what are the driving forces? What make driving forces for the demand to be violated? There's another factors either than the prices such as the new technology, the option, the features, as well the prices of the fossil fuels if it is increases and the desire for low carbon footprint and seeking for as well luxury cars, which is Tesla give you this feeling. That's how supply curve, how it's look like. I bring the other observation with the unit produce and prices. How can I do this? Let's go for the Excel and see how we can manage this one. So we bring for you the, the unit produced. This is the relation between the units produced and the quantity. So what we see here, it is very simple that the production is increasing across time, but this is not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking to draw the relation between prices and units sold, and then I, draw the scatter diagram and then this is what we call it supply so if you are interesting to do as well the trend relation just again you click right click at trend line to see if this is linear relation or there is a positive relation or to look for the factors affecting the supply so this is the r square and I can add as well the trend line. This is called the trend line. So let's go back and see how it's look like. It is similarly to the one we have just drawn. 
this is the relation and you will find that it is a negative relation. So there is a violation. What are the other factors that affect the supply curve? Tesla car will remain expensive because of it is huge technology that they are investing in. Increase electric vehicle and Tesla could run out of batteries. So how they can compete in the market? If there is a new model in the future, there must be. So I put both of them demand and supply and you will see there is a lot of ups and downs and there is a slight point of equilibrium where the unit produced almost can intersect with the unit produced. And this is seen here in Q4 2018 between the two observation where they are almost near to each other. But if we go further for 2019, you will find the unit produced become increasing and the supply increased, unit produced increase. So the supply exceeds the unit demand. And it is very clear. How can I draw this? Very easy and very simple. Go to the Excel, put your data in a very simple way. Start by selecting one relation and then you go for insert and look for the scatter diagram. Then this is the supply. We did it. Let's go for the other one, which is what after we draw this supply, we are in need to go for the demand. And then you are going to right, do a right click, select the data. You are going to add what you are going to add. You are going to look for the series name. You're going to look for the demand unit sold. And then you took for the relations between units for the x-axis. And then you go for the prices on the y-axis, which is important. Then you click OK. I did it something wrong. Then I click again, select the data. I must add, add, this is called demand again. And then I go for the x-axis, which is the unit sold. And then I go for the y-axis, which is the prices, all of them. And then that's it. Then I draw both of them, which is similar to the one they see it here. We did it. We finished supply and demand. We draw the supply and demand with respect to the prices. And we see there is a lot of violation and fluctuation. And then there is must be a future expectation how Tesla will build the new batteries, new vehicles, self-driving technology, beating the competition. I will end it by today scientists have substituted mathematics for expanding. And they wander off through equation after equation and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. Nicholas Tesla, a genuine and a brilliant one. Thank you for watching and see you next lecture.